is a good student and what is a good guru or mentor? How would you define a really good student, bad student, good guru, bad guru? You have already claimed the mantle of being a good student <laughs> So I think I am free to claim the mantle of being a good guru <laughs> For a good student, there is no problem. Wherever he goes, he will learn. Whatever he meets, he will learn. A good guru is one who doesn't teach you anything, but makes you so thirsty, you can't help learning. If people come to me thirsty, I don't give them water. I put salt in their mouth. Yes. They get so thirsty, they got to find it. Because if you show them something which is not yet in their experience, the only choice that somebody has is either to believe what you say or disbelieve what you say. It is just that if you believe me, you will have a positive story to tell. If you disbelieve me, you will have a negative story to tell, but you will not be an inch closer to reality. Above all, I think putting people into this kind of a dilemma, either to believe or disbelieve, whatever I say or do, I think it's obscene. You should not put people into such a situation. My work is mainly, you are a seeker, but not intense enough. So my work is to make you so intense that it cannot be denied to you. Truth is not hiding, truth is obvious everywhere in the universe. You are hiding from it because the intensity of seeking has not happened. If seeking becomes intense enough, knowing is not far away because what you are seeking is not sitting on Mount Everest, it's within you. So how long does it take? What is within you if it takes a lifetime? Of course, you are on a con job, isn't it? <laughs> yes or no? So to get you out of this <laughs> deception is all my work is, my work is not to dispense truth, who am I to do that? 